Hi everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to create a complete podcast using AI. That means the script, the audio, and everything on how to put it together in one shot. Let me show you a sample of what we are actually going to create. Our current trajectory. Emily, our listeners often hear about rising temperatures, but what does this really look like on a global scale? Imagine a world where the seasons as we know them have blurred. In 2034, summers in many regions are not just warmer, they're lethally hot, with temperatures regularly exceeding 40 degrees Celsius. And it's not just about temperature. The heat affects precipitation patterns, leading to prolonged droughts in areas like the Midwest, once the breadbasket of the world, now struggling to produce basic crops. Elsewhere, the Now, if you just look at it, this is crazy good. Like, if you click hit on podcast, and if you're not watching this video, you would 110% not able to guess this. And I tested this with 20 to 30 people, and they were like, actually, this is as good as any podcast that goes. So, I'm going to tell you how to create this. And we're going to use three amazing tools. Number one, ChatGPT. Number two is going to be coming up in a second. And we're going to use one thing to put it all together, which is one of my favorites. It's called Dscript. So let me show you how to create this script. Right now, again, I'm just going to let it run this prompt. Again, this is a prompt based on persona prompting, which I have a complete video on. Please go ahead and check it out if you want to. I'll just input the prompt that I want to work with. Okay. Now, until that is happening, I'm going to show you which software we are going to use to create the voices of these people. So if you saw, there were three people whom we were talking about there. So in this one, we are going to specifically use 11 labs to convert text to audio and they have multiple create options that we can use at any time. So let's get started. Okay, first we need this one minute set for a podcast where three people are talking about the change the emotions. Okay, now the point is in this it will create it will create it in a more like you know explained pre way. It will show how they're going to talk about who is going to be the host, who's going to be the guest, and they are like you know just going to work on that, right? And this is super crazy, right? Now we just have a script that we can use to put it all together. Now, how we are going to use this script is let me explain you. Okay. So first we need to start with seeing which part of the audio is being played by so Alex, for example, has multiple dialogues in this script. Similarly, Jordan and Wiley. That means we need three voices. Number one, let's start with Alex. So first, what do you have to do is you have to select every dialogue that Alex has spoken and put it together in one place. So we're just going to do this, select this. It's just, it's just that you can create these scripts separately also, but it's just better if you do it in one shot because it saves a lot of time. So we will take this and, and I want to put this together. Now, what we're going to choose is we are going to choose one of the voices which are available here. So here are some of the ones that I've already used. So let's try this one. Our distrust is very expensive. Uh, Our distrust is very good. expensive. This is not that great, okay? So I want something more like more a narration. Voice. Allow the world to live as it chooses and allow yourself to live as you choose. Well, this Be here now. Be someplace else later. Is that so complicated? I like this one. I will add, and I'm going to show you the settings that are available there. So first is stability. Now stability means how much emotion you want in that. And I always prefer to keep as close to experimental as possible because it gives you that emotion and like you know Im human feeling as much as a computer can emote that. Right? Then you have clarity. How much background noise you want there or not? So for this, because it's a podcast, I would like it to be highly well recorded. And style, this is based on the accent and everything that we want the voice to have. I tend to keep it at 10 to 20%. That gives it enough accent that it's not robotic, but also not go crazy. If you want, we can just like test it out with this one. Okay. Let's click generate and you can actually start seeing the voice being generated. So it's going to read the text in the voice that we have selected. That's Adam's voice for Alex as our character. And we we'll just see how the generation goes. Okay. Now the best part is they have a great free plan, which is around ten thousand characters, roughly around four to five minutes of content. So this has been working. Again, you can see I've tested. Welcome it back to Voices of Change. Today we're delving into the emotional heart of climate change. Jordan, as an environmentalist, how does the current state of our planet make you feel? It's powerful to hear both of you. Now it will keep generating in bits, so I'm not going to like you know keep playing. So you see, it went from 17 seconds to 32 seconds. What I can do is now is as soon as it's created, I can just hit on download, and I'll just download the file. That's pretty much it. Okay, and I'm going to say, Alex, 
I'm just saving the file. Okay, save. Now I have to do this for each one of them, and I'm not going to bore you with that. Just give me a second, and I, I create all the voices. Now, just one thing before I close 11 labs, I created all the voices, but you can see there are so many options to like, you know, what you can see, what you can check, and they're like just super great. Like you can see English, Swedish, American, British, they have multiple accents. And also one more feature that I want to tell you is actually that you can convert your own voice. So you can add generative or cloned voice. So that means you can add a voice recording about yourself and create a clone of it, which you can use at any time. The best use cases that I see is people who are like CXOs or who want to go on podcasts but don't have the time. They can just simply answer the questions using text, which is faster, or like you know, just transcribe it to someone, and then their polished clones of voice recording can be used in a podcast. It's super crazy the world we live in, right? But okay, awesome. Coming back to what we are doing. Okay, so I put all the voices together. I've downloaded each one of them. Now what we are going to do is we are need to put them all together. Now let's come back to our favorite software called Descript. Okay. I have the web version also. I can switch to the desktop version. That will be faster. Give me a second. Awesome. So this software is called Descript. It's going to help us a lot. So what we go ahead is click on new project and start an audio project. This is super great for just creating audio projects as we don't have any videos. I'm just going to click on add files and add all the three files that I have here. Now, I don't think you will be able to see that because I'm just opening my file browser. But if you see, it started adding files on the right hand corner, right? And I started adding both of them. I even have to add Freya's voice. So let's do that. I'm just going to do it. And now it's asking me for speaker names, right? So Jordan voice, I'll just add Jordan and we'll just see why I'm doing that in a second. And I can add Alex and then Alex voice. Perfect, done. Now, the last thing that I need to do is add one more file that I forgot to add, which is Freya's voice. And I just made that. And I'm Freya actually Riley, but I just named her Freya because that's the voice that I was using. Sorry. But it's Riley's whose voice we are going to use. So I'm just going to add that also. Okay. Perfect. Just give it a second. Load. And we will name it very simply. Okay. Now, once I've done this, you can see it has transcribed the voices. So that means the text that we gave converted into a voice is now back converted to text. And let me tell you why do you need that, okay? So right now, we have to, again, match this to the script, right? We have to match this to the chat GPT script. Now, that might be a bit difficult if you are working with, you know, just audio files. That's where Descript helps you a lot. Let me show you. Now, as you can see, I have put all the voices here. And on the right-hand side is actually the script that chat GPT has, right? Now, we need to arrange this in the same format. Because in these script, you're not working with audio files, but rather working like a text file. It's very simple to do. So for example, you see this paragraph here. There is Alex, and after that, Jordan is speaking. Right? I have the same words from Jordan here. What I can do is just paste Control X, which is cut, and Control V, paste. And if you're on Mac, come on. Actually, I don't know Mac shortcuts. So whichever those shortcuts, I'll just use them. So you can put them together. And similarly, next step is by Riley. So we're just going to go to Riley and cut and paste that after Jordan. And you can also see the best part is you can see actually who's speaking after what, right? And we can just continue doing that for both of these things in a very quick way. So we have a couple of lines from Jordan and I can just add that and do fix. And after that, I'll put it and there second and just put it there perfect and after that we have Riley saying something agreed it's about the connection and we can just take that one and it's a thing take that put it after Jordan and we have our podcast to go I think I missed one dialogue from Riley but I think that's uh, that's part of the that's part of the last one so we can just Squared, and I can put that there. That means the whole script is in the same format as we ended. So you can see very simply, welcome to back to Bowser of change, same way to be delivering. It comes at a field, then Jordan says, and I express it. Let me play this for you and see how it is. Okay. How it sounds. Welcome good. back to Voices of Change. Today we're delving into the emotional heart of climate change. Jordan. 
As an environmentalist, how does the current state of our planet make you feel? Honestly, Alex, it's a mix of frustration and hope. Seeing the damage we've done to our beautiful Earth is heartbreaking. But then, there's this incredible, resilient spirit in the communities I work with, fighting for change. It's that spirit that keeps me going. I hear you, Jordan. On my farm, I've seen firsthand the impact of erratic weather patterns. It's scary and it's tough. But like you, I find hope. Hope in the new, sustainable methods we're adopting. Hope. Uh, right? Now, this is great. But the point is, what we can do with, I can actually add a bit of music, make it sound much more realistic. Okay? So let me do that. And just simply go ahead. I just go and add files. Select audio. And I'm just going to select like a very documentary style. 60 minutes maybe, or at least that's a deep cinematic style format. I'm just going to do that, okay, and... That rocks. I like that one. I hope you do I mean, what, like, did not plan this up, but I'll just keep showing that to you and how that sounds like. Also, if you see, I keep increasing the speed of the whole thing and there is a reason behind that the reason behind that is very simply so that it sounds more realistic because when like you know people the way the audio is very slow very autonomous 1.5x is a good speed that i feel like you know when I, when I have that footage, it's very easy. welcome back to voices of change today we're delving into the emotional heart of climate change jordan as an environmentalist now that's good music like i can also make that like a bit uh lower or more so i'll just go for Let's say minus 10 decibels of How does the current state of our planet make you feel? Honestly, Alex, it's a mix of frustration and hope. Uh, I don't know if the music, but yeah, okay. That's how you can add a music. And if you're better than me at adding music, do that. Very simply, for download this, click on publish. And you click on publish. And that's it. It will go to the internet where you can share that with everyone. And also download the file from there. Well, I'll just show you that, how that works. All right. Let me see. Perfect. It's ready. It's rendering. It will take a couple of minutes. But oh, perfect it's already actually that also. Welcome back to Voices of Change. All right, and I'm going to change this to 105x. It sounds better for me at least. Today we're delving into the emotional heart of climate change. Jordan, as an environmentalist, how does the we'll it's powerful to hear both of you speak with such emotion? This isn't just a scientific or political issue. It's deeply personal, isn't it? Absolutely. It's about our home, our future. It's about the kind of world we want to leave for our children, and that's why we need to keep talking, keep acting. Agreed. And if you look at it, Jordan actually sounds super realistic. Look at how right It's about doing. connection to the land, to each other. We're all in this together, and that's a powerful thing. Thank you, Jordan and Riley. Your passion and hope are truly inspiring. That's all for today on Voices of Chain. Now, this is super crazy. I would actually put out the link to this recording that I have created. Play it with your friends and family and test it out on how does it sound and how good or bad it is. And just go ahead and create your own podcast. I can't wait to see what you create. And if you like this, Please subscribe, share it with your friends. It will really, really help me a lot. And I would love to see you in the next one.